Hi guys, what's up? It's Laura. Welcome to another haul video. I have a lot of good stuff here today. It's kind of some more orders trickling in after Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I've got some Boxing Day stuff here. So I know my hauls are gonna be winding down a little bit. I haven't been ordering very much except for very specific like select things that I need, but my no spend is going very strong. So I know these are gonna slow down a little bit. So let's enjoy them while we have it and we'll just dive right into this video. The first shop that we're going to start off with is Once More With Love and she released some of her Michaels items online on her website and my Michaels uh, are the one that's closest to me. It's not mine, um, but it usually takes a while to stock anything kind of special and I totally get it. Like they have a lot of things in there that they have to turn over. So. I picked it up online. I was willing to pay the extra shipping cost just because I wanted to get my hands on it. And she also had a really great sale over Boxing Day on some of her Oops grab bags. And I've never purchased those before, so I really wanted to get my hands on them. So to start off with, you got this little journaling card. And I really like the message of this, of this, what if you simply devoted this year to loving yourself more? And I thought that was really, really sweet. And there's just a little note here on the back that she wrote to everyone, which is awesome. Really cute journaling card. So I guess we'll start off maybe with the Michaels items. And she did a video on all of her releases. So I just picked out the ones that I really wanted right away and I can grab the rest at kind of a later date. So starting off, there is this pen set and I don't know, I think they're like a felt tip marker. They're all black ink pens, but they have these really cute designs on them that I just couldn't resist. We have the little munchkin head. We have just like a rainbow one and then one with the once more with love bows on it. So I just thought they were really cute. Can see here it's kind of like a marker tip on it i don't know it's they they write okay i can show you guys i'll just grab a little sticky note and show you guys how they write mind you my writing is terrible so so yeah it kind of just reminds me of like a sharpie something like that really cute so i picked up the three pens and then the other item that I really wanted to try were her sticker albums. So these are reusable sticker albums and it actually comes with two in the set, which I thought was a really good deal. And sorry, the packaging is gonna be noisy here. So these are the two that you get. One is my sticker collection and the other is my stickers. You can see it's just that like glossy sticker paper that you can stick your stickers on any of those like leftover sheets, maybe freebies, things like that. And then you can just peel them off and use them again, which is awesome. It's a great way to ensure your stickers don't go to waste. And I really like this paper. I have a few other notebooks that are for reusable like sticker albums and the paper is very, very different. What I will say about these ones is it feels much more glossy, which is kind of odd. I wouldn't have expected it to be like that. And what I have heard um, is that this is much more grippy than a lot of other ones. So maybe, you know, just be cautious about that. Maybe don't have stickers on here for years. <laughs> Try and use them pretty quickly because I've heard they can like adhere to these sheets. But again, that's just hearsay. I haven't actually personally tried it myself. So I will keep you guys updated on these. I want to figure out some sort of way of like organizing them because my other sticker albums are just kind of like, I just put stickers wherever and there's not a lot of functionality to it. It still takes me a really long time to find which sticker I need and then like it matches and all that stuff. So it's not super functional. It's just like all of my stickers are stored in like one place now instead of like a bunch of random sheets. That's the one thing that I do like about it, but I need to figure out a better system of like functionality of them. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on how I'm using these. I also picked up a grab bag from Once More With Love and she had a really good sale going on. I believe 
these grab bags. I got the 40 sheet one and I believe it was around $80 Canadian. But she also had like a 10% discount code on top of that. So you're paying less than $2 a sheet, which is like such a good deal. So I decided to pick one up. Again, I've never picked up one of her like oops grab bags before. So I just wanted to try it out. So I got a couple of freebies here. This is just like the generic one. I like the little Tamagotchi. I don't know when I would ever use that, but it's super cute. And then this is the December freebie. I think I have this one already, but again, really, really cute. And then my order also came with this little, I think it's like a vinyl. Yes, yeah, so it's like a little sticker here. And again, super cute with the little munchkin and then the kitty and the puppy. So really like that. I was a little bit surprised to see some of the larger sheets in the grab bags. I thought, and this is just like my own like misperception of it. I was under the assumption that it was all sheets like this, but that's okay. Um, I'll figure out a use for some of these larger ones. But for now, I'll just show you the first couple of sheets here. So it's totally random. Some of these I already have, like I definitely have this nap time sheet, but some of them are really cute and I'm really happy with them. I don't know what that is on my sheet, but okay. So this is Button and Cork's debut exclusive. So they're really cute, just like a little couple. I like them. We have the Magical Theme Park Deco, the Mini Sallies. That's a lot of them. <laughs> we got the Slothkins, which I absolutely love. I don't even know what kind of character this is. It's like a little munchkin with poop on its head. It's just kind of funny. I don't know what I'll use it for again, but really cute. And then we have these little, um, it says hobo note page with bow clip. So those are really cute. I can definitely see myself using those in spreads. We have the hair wash 3.0 and I definitely have these ones already. And I don't know if these are actually like misfits or if they're just like, if there's cut mistakes or something like that on these, but I haven't seen anything that is like drastically wrong with any of these sheets. So that, that seems good. Um, we have the gardening, the organized stickers, Payday 2.0. This is the Adventure is Out There for Hobo Weeks. So I'm assuming this is part of like a little Hobo Weeks kit. The Seal of Disapproval. I think this one is so funny. I love it. I've actually been thinking about picking this up, but I was always like, what will I use this for? So I, I never picked it up, but I'm really happy that I have it now. We have the heartbreak ones, the no school <laughs> pastel 2.0. I definitely have no use for those. So those will probably be in an upcoming like giveaway or a D, a D stash. We have the subscription arrived. You will be all right. Oh, sorry. I was like, I totally missed this sheet right here. This is the mini You've Got a Friend in Me part two. And I believe this is for Toy Story 4, which I actually haven't even seen yet. I flew to Montreal this week and Toy Story 4 was on the plane and I meant to watch it, but I got distracted and I just ended up watching other things. But Toy Story 4 is definitely on my list. So when I do watch it, now I have some stickers to mark it. This is the You Will Be All Right, which I really like this one. Just like really good messages on here. Like it's okay to be not okay. I talked to someone, took some time to recharge. I asked for help. I really like these because you know what? Mental health is definitely extremely important and I really like the message behind those. These are the days of the week, munchkins, and I feel all of these, the definitely like oh, Monday, only Tuesday, hump day, TGIF, and Friday. Oh, so we don't get like a Thursday one? Whatever, that's all good. Uh, we get the bubble bath, the color in yourself ribbons. This is an awesome idea. Um, so you can fill in the color, just like color it with a pencil crayon or whatever, and put it in your planner for whichever uh, cause that you want to support uniquely. Uh, the Under the Sea ones, those are really cute. I actually just watched The Little Mermaid not too long ago. We got the Hot Summer, Wine O'Clock, the Birthday Deco, 
the Hobo Weeks Pastel Star Checklist. Again, these will probably go in a giveaway just because I don't have a Hobo Weeks. And I still think they're kind of small to use in my uh, Primpression Weeks. We got the Kickboxing ones, the Holiday Deco 3.0, Tale as Old as Time. Oh, I love these ones so much. Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite um, Disney movies. We got the Holiday Shopping Madness 2.0. I feel like some of these sheets I literally like just bought a couple of months ago. But, oh well, now I have doubles. We have Garbage Day, Haunted Mansion, You've Got a Friend in Me. Okay, so now I have two of the different like Toy Story ones, which is awesome. We have the Christmas Traditional Countdown 2.0. So I will definitely hoard that for next year. We have Happy Mail 2.0. And then the Mini Munchkin Banner Flags. So those were all of the smaller sheets that came in my grab bags. You can see you've got a really good variety. There's no doubles in there, which is awesome. And then you also get these sheets. So these were the July 2019 Wacky Holidays. And then this looks like a kit of some sort and it says another year three. So I'm wondering if it was part of her three year anniversary bundle. And then this has like uh, the little planning desk set up and then today's hike. And then these once upon a time of foldable books. So I believe you can just kind of like fold these up and then stick them in your planner and it's almost like a little pop out. So those are kind of cute. I've never used anything like that in my planner before, but definitely excited. So I am super happy with this grab bag. I think it was such a good deal and I'm very happy with all of the stickers that I got. So that is everything from Once More With Love. The next shop that I have to share with you guys is a new shop to me. And so this is my very first order from Sticky Sloth Designs. And I am such a sucker for overlay tapes. They have become my latest planning obsession. So she had a bundle for Black Friday of all her different overlay tapes. So I just knew I had to pick them up. So we have a couple different designs here. I believe there's two different designs and they come in four colors. So we'll start off with the bow design. I should have organized these first, you guys. So that's a star one and that's a star one. So yeah, there's a bow design and then there's a star design. So I got all four colors of the bow one as well as all four of the star. So you can see here, these are the overall colors of the bows. And I did swatch these out so you guys can see them and they do have matching headers that go along with them. So to start off with up here at the top, you can see this is the bow design header overlay and this is in the gold and it's very, very dainty with the little bows and little sprinkles throughout it and it matches the full box overlay so well and I think it is really pretty. It's just like a nice soft bit of foil, like it's not overwhelming, it's not in your face. I think it's really, really pretty. And then the second one is the stars. So this is the header overlay in rose gold. And then you can see her rose gold is more of that like coppery rose gold, which is really pretty. And then this is the star overlay full box. And I love that it's just kind of like cascading down. I think it's really pretty in both. So I got all four of these designs in all four foils. So really, really good bundle. And it was such a good price. Like I could not resist it. The only thing that I will comment on is if you guys are familiar with Rose Color Days tapes, I think she is kind of the epitome of overlay tapes. I will say that it looks like, or it appears, I don't know if like this is 100% true, but it appears like you get way more on a Rose Color Days overlay tape versus these. I don't know exactly like how much is on these, so I'm just gonna throw it out there that it does seem like Rose Color Days, you get significantly more on a roll. So, you know, pick whichever one you like, but I would just say, just be cautious of that. Like if you're expecting rose color days and how many you get on a rose color days roll, I would say it's probably not the same, 
but I still think these are an amazing deal. Like, I still think these are great. These are better than probably picking up the little quarter sheets with full box overlays on them. So if you're really into foil, I think this is a great way to go. And lots of different shops them have lots of different shops have them nowadays. So that is what I got from Sticky Sloth Designs. And overall, I would say, um, in terms of the quality of like tearing them off the roll. I only had issues with the full box overlays with the bows and I don't know maybe I just like ripped it too quickly because I didn't have any issues with the stars at all I didn't have any issues with the like bow header so I think maybe with this one I just like ripped it too quickly and that's why I kind of ripped the one next to it but other than that I thought that the quality was really really good and that was just like a me thing that had nothing to do with you know the quality of the actual tape so next we'll get into some of the other things that I picked up. I believe these were freebies that just came with my order because of Black Friday. So they have these little like cloud type things. I don't know. I don't really know what these are. I think they'd be really good for like layering and things like that in your planner. Uh, I also got these full box overlays, which are really pretty with those hot pink hearts. And then these are super cute with a little like food. I love a little gingerbread man. You have a little grocery bag, a little muffin, some fries, and then another full box overlay. Again, in a really pretty, it's almost like a purpley color. I know it's showing up more pink on camera, but it's more of a purpley color, I would say. And then also some date covers, which those are perfect. So what I also picked up from Sticky Sloth Designs was some of her little um, like accents here. So they're just like little added like deco that you can put in your planner just to add some extra, sh uh, extra shine. So these are the silver like star accents, which are really cute. Then I got these like divider, banner dividers in gold. I really like these. It's almost like string lights. I thought those would be so pretty to add maybe to a full box or something like that, or maybe just like to divide different sections. I thought those would be really pretty. And that is in hollow, I believe. Sometimes it's so hard to tell with the lights. It's either silver or hollow. I can't really tell right now. Uh, and then I got the banner dividers in silver. I got more of those little star accents in gold. I also picked them up in rose gold. And then I got the banners in rose gold. The string lights in rose gold. And then the string lights in gold. So I'm gonna go back and say that I got the string lights in silver because it looks like I only got traditional colors. And then I also got these little ice drinks which I don't know, I just thought they were really cute. I thought it'd be good to mark maybe like a hot summer day, something like that. Uh, so I picked those up. Actually, I could use these for my iced coffee too. So yeah, I got all three of the traditional colors. So and that is everything that I picked up from Sticky Sloth Designs. All right, so the next shop here is my tried and true, my favorite, Murdoch Talks. You guys know I do PR for her, so I have a code. It is Laura10, so you can get 10% off. I believe all three of the kits I'm about to show you are still in her shop, so you can definitely pick those up, use my code, get 10% off, and then if you put my name in the notes, you'll also get a freebie. So let's start off here. So I picked these up over Black Friday, like Cyber Monday timing and I am obsessed with this little bundle here. So this is like a Valentine's Day foil bundle. Still don't know what kit I'm using for Valentine's Day, so I picked it up in gold just to be safe because I figured gold was kind of a safe choice. So you do get these full box overlays. One says Happy Valentine's Day, and the other is just a really cute XOXO with some hearts. Love that. You also get the heart confetti um, header overlays. The full box overlays with the dainty heart confetti all over it. And I love this bottom washi. So you get the confetti on the top and then this double heart thing here. I am loving that. I think that's a really cute touch. So that was the Valentine's Day foil bundle. I don't believe this is in the shop anymore, but I know that the kits are for sure. 
So speaking of the kits, let's show the first one here. So this was a New Year's Eve type kit, but she also made an add-on so you can make it more of a birthday kit. So I think that's what I'm going to use it for. Who knows? Maybe I will hoard it until next New Year's Eve. Um, but I really like the colors of this. The navy with the gold, it just has this elegance to it and it just... It screams like classy party to me and I really like it. So here are the nine full boxes. You also get some appointment labels down here at the bottom. This is her full kit format. So um, you do get your heart checklist flags, all of your icons and functional scripts, some half boxes down there at the bottom as well as your flags. The next sheet has the movie marquee, half boxes, date covers, your sidebar items and habit trackers. Get a full sheet of the heart checklist boxes. And then you have some quarter boxes down at the bottom. All of your littles, um, rounded quarter boxes, labels, half boxes, three heart checklists, all of your headers, little payday flag and some cut washi strips. Your bottom washi, more washi strips and deco. And then the glitter headers come in the full kit as well. And you get some more functional boxes and labels, flags, and then these little checklist boxes down here at the bottom. So that is the full kit. But then I picked up the boxes a la carte as well. So you get some more versions of the fashion girl, some different skin tone options. And then this is just like a straight swap out here in terms of skin color. And then this box, instead of it saying happy new year on the banner, it just says happy birthday. So I don't know if I'm going to use this for my birthday. I might hoard it for a friend's birthday. I don't know. We've got options. The next kit that I have, again, is a full kit. So the format is going to be the same, just different full boxes here. Um, I absolutely love this color scheme. There's something about baby pink and blue that just like, it goes right to my heart. I am obsessed. I think it's super pretty. Great Valentine's Day kit with all the like di different lingerie pieces. It feels very romantic. So as I mentioned, the format is the same. This is a full kit. You can see it's just like a different color scheme, obviously. But I am planning on doing lovey-dovey Valentine's Day kits throughout the month of February. I think that's the goal. So I think this will be in an upcoming February plan with me. So stay tuned for that. The next one I love, it's kind of like a book, bookworm type kit. And it's in these really pretty purples and greens. This puppy like passed out on the book up there. That's honestly like what did me in. I was like, yep, need it, have to have it. Don't know when I'm gonna use it. It'll probably be like a March, maybe April type kit. It's just kind of like a good anytime kit. Like if you don't have something specific you need to use, just kind of swap it in with something like this. So and that is the next kit. And that is everything that I picked up from Murdoch Talks. Next, I have a couple orders here from Rose Colored Days, and this is two orders. I didn't order all of this at once, but we have her Valentine's Day release, and then she also did like a confetti release pretty recently. So I am going to show you guys these. I have swatched them all out, um, but I'm actually going to start over here with just some of the freebies that came with my order. So you do get this little... Um, like business card. So here's all of her information if you're looking to purchase from her. And then on the back, it just says, think it, want to get it. Really cute. And then because it's two orders, you have these two different full box overlays. One is in like a purple foil. And then this one is a blue, like royal blue color. So those are really cute. And then of course, uh, she always includes these. It's like a little calendar, a clear calendar. And this is for the month of January in hollow foil. And I also picked up some of her pockets. So these were in collab with Annie Plans. And they're these little, 
you know, Louis Vuitton inspired pockets. So the first one I think here is really cute. It's a gray pocket with the rose gold foiling. So you have kind of the smaller one. I believe it's like a two inch pocket, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is the larger version. So you can just like adhere this to the inside of your planner and then stick like stickers or washi cards or whatever you need inside of them. And then this one, is more of like your corner pocket, secretarial type pocket. So each of these bundles it came with the three different versions. So I got the gray with rose gold, the pink with hollow, and then the black with silver. So those are the three different versions that I picked up. Now we can get into the overlay tapes. So I'll start off with the Valentine's Day release. So there were four special colors that came out for Valentine's Day and I love them all. I know they all had like drink type names to them. I believe this one was Purple Rain. I want to say like Pink Champagne or something. I can't remember what this like rose gold color was called um we have like a darker hot pink which i believe was cosmopolitan i might have these two confused one was cosmopolitan i believe the other one was pinkatini i could totally be wrong on those names those just are kind of like ringing a bell to me so i will show you quickly what these look like so these ones are just heart confettis so I have it here in the purple rain. So you can see it's just little hearts with little dot confetti is kind of raining down. And it's really, really pretty. I love this purple color. Um, it's just like a nice, almost like a lavender color, but really, really nice. So all of her Valentine's Day releases did come in these four foils. So that was the pink, or sorry, the heart confetti overlays. And then the other full box, overlays had a few different variations on them so i'll just lay them out here the one i have unwrapped is this like champagne i forget what it was called i feel like it was called pink champagne but i i don't know just saying that feels wrong so i'm not too sure but i believe there was five different variations of full box overlays that you got on this roll i only rolled out three here but i love this one with all the different hearts like open hearts around it you have one it's like a, like almost like a heart vine type look and then the little hanging hearts here so those are the different variations that are on these rolls and i believe there's two more I think there's five in total if I'm not mistaken. So those are the other Valentine's Day full box overlay tapes. And then you also get, well, I bought like the bundle, the overall bundle. So you get two different variations of header overlays in those same colors. So where did I swatch those? Okay. So the first one is just like kind of your standard confetti up here at the top. And then the other one is like these hearts on a string, which is really, really cute. And I swatched these both in the pink color, like hoping that you guys could see the difference in it. So this bottom one is more of like a hot pink. And then the top one is a little bit of a softer pink. I think that angle kind of shows the difference between them. Both really, really pretty colors, and I am excited to use those very, very soon. The next release that she had was more of like your standard confetti types here. So these I am obsessed with. They are the bottom washi overlays in full confetti. So I picked them up in all four of these standard colors. We have gold, which her gold is a very hot gold. We also have rose gold, which is more of that coppery one. And then we have hollow and silver. So I swatched the silver here down at the bottom. You can see it's like a full confetti look there. So I'm really excited about this. And I know she does have a full box versions of that coming out for the Planner Boss Collective Sale, which is the weekend of Jan 24th. So if you're watching this the day that it comes out, it's like a week from now. So uh, I believe it's Friday the 24th, so you should definitely check that out. Um, I also picked up, 
And oh, I think in that sale, she's like restocking a bunch of other things that like, if you didn't have a chance to pick them up when they released, like she'll bring them back. So I believe those pockets, like the Louis Vuitton inspired ones with Annie plans, those are being restocked that weekend. Her date number tapes, those are all being restocked. So definitely check out Rose Color Days for the Planner Boss Collective sale. Next, we have these confetti tapes here. So you can see here, it's a really dense confetti at the top and then it just kind of like sprinkles out. So this is the hot gold or her version of gold, which is really pretty. And I got all four of them because I'm a sucker and I need to have them all just in case. And then I also picked up her bundle of date numbers in all five. So all five versions. So you have your four kind of classic ones. And then she also had black numbers as well. So you can see it's literally just date numbers on a strip like this where I used them and I really liked them. These are the larger version, by the way, there are smaller ones, but where I use them was in my print impression B6 planner. So at the front, you have like the monthly calendars and I use these to fill out all of the months. So these are really great. I use the smaller version of them, but I'm happy to have the larger ones as well. So that is everything that I picked up from Rose Colored Days. The next shop that we have here is Wild Summer Designs. And she had an amazing sale. I believe it was 60% off for Black Friday. So can't resist a good deal like 60% off. Um, but I believe she always has like really good sales on her stuff. If you're a part of her Facebook group, you can get 50% off with her code. So I highly, highly suggest that you join the Wild Summer Designs Facebook group. If I remember, I will leave it linked down below so you guys can check it out. So I just picked up a couple kits this time around. I was trying to be more conservative, but my order did come with this journaling card of this little tiny snowman. It is so cute. I also like that it's like a double-sided journaling card. So it would be really good to stick in a planner and just to kind of decorate things. So that one's really cute. And then you do get her business card. This is a little freebie that came with my order. And then these are just the glitter headers for my kits. So the first kit that I picked up was called a fresh start. And this just made me think of, um, I've been on a bit of like a health and wellness journey over the past year. Um, and I've been on and off it. And this kit just made me think of if I have a week where I'm like really good and really on my game, like working out, eating healthy, I feel like this would be a good kit for that kind of a week. And I'm hoping to have a lot of those weeks in 2020. So hopefully lots of weeks to choose from. But I love this. I love photo kits. I am such a sucker for photo kits. And I think the colors in this with all the really bright fruits and stuff like that just make it exceptionally beautiful. So these are your nine full boxes. And then you do have a couple little um, boxes down there at the bottom. Look at these colors, you guys. Isn't this stunning? So I love, love, love her format. You have your little bow flags here, like bow checklist. You have some more flags here, little hexagons, a weekend banner, your weekly sidebar, like bow boxes, some labels, appointment labels, this stunning bottom washi with all of this fruit. I think one of those like confetti overlays over top of this would just like make it shine and pop so much. Uh, you get your date numbers here as well as your date covers, which again has like little kiwis and bananas, a little acai bowl there, an entire page of all half boxes and quarter boxes, your full box heart checklist, and then all of your headers and little things. So to go along with that, of course, I had to pick up the glitter headers as well. And again, it's just those stunning, beautiful, bright colors. This week is just going to totally stand out. And I think it's going to look really, really pretty. I don't know what foil color I would use with this. Like it's just so different. Maybe this would be a good time to bring in like a wiggle or something like orange. I don't know, something like different. 
And then the complete opposite of that is this like monochromatic, like, you know, blacks and grays. Love this kit, it's called Let's Stay Home. And I love what a contrast it is to the previous kit. Um, just a really pretty, um, I don't wanna say minimalistic, cause it's not minimalistic. It's got a lot going on. It's just, you know, pretty muted. So complete opposite in terms of color scheme here. It's all like grayscale. I really like it. So same format as I mentioned, all your littles. And then I did pick up the glitter headers to go along with it. So that is everything that I picked up from Wild Summer Designs. Next up is the sticky committee and I don't always show you guys the packaging that everything comes in but I couldn't resist showing you this really pretty black and gold envelope that my order came in. I just thought it was really pretty and like very classy so I'm definitely going to be keeping this envelope uh, and it looks like you can reseal it and I just I thought it was really pretty so that is the packaging. And what did we get here? So I think this was a freebie that came with my order and it's just a bunch of different postcards um, or like journaling cards, whatever you wanna call them. But they're really like nicely done. So you have this one that says season's greetings and you can see it is like your traditional like postcard layout, but you could use them as journaling cards if you wanted to just stick them in your planner setup. This one's really cute. It says Merry Christmas, you filthy animal and has your little Macaulay Culkin uh, as Kevin there. This one says Merry Christmas and then it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So I might hoard these until next year and maybe give them out um, as little like Christmas greeting card type things, who knows? So I'll show you guys what I actually ordered and I did pick all of this up during a Black Friday and I have quite a few items in here. So starting off, I did pick up some quote overlays. This one I love, it's for Valentine's Day. Obviously, happy Valentine's Day up here. And because I got the Murdoch Talks one in gold, I picked this up in silver, just in case I have another week that I try uh, with silver foil. So this one says, our love is magic. We have happy Valentine's Day. Be mine and you will, you will forever be my always. So that is in silver foil. And then I got this one, which is so pretty for winter. This is in her hollow foil. And it says, cold hands, warm heart, let it snow, walking in a winter wonderland, and baby, it's cold outside. And it feels like winter kind of just started here in Toronto. I know winter has like officially been going on for a while, but I definitely have lots of time to use those. Next up, I picked up these, which is the complete opposite. These are her summer quotes. And we have, these are all in silver. Life is better under the palms. Hello, sweet summer. Here comes the sun and every summer has a story. I honestly don't know why I picked up summer quotes <laughs> in the middle of the winter, but hey, he can never be too prepared, I suppose. And then I also got these, which were a $2 Tuesday deal, but she had them still around for Black Friday. And I love these, these are like Home Alone uh, quotes. And I do have a Home Alone kit from the Glam Planner from a couple of years ago. So I thought if I ever used those, that kit, these would be good quotes to have along with it. So you have Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, and you're what the French call les incompetents. So love that one. We also have the elf quotes, which again, I have an elf kit from SPC. So I'm going to stick these in with that kit. So when I use that kit, I have these and it says the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear and Merry Christmas, you cotton headed nitty muggins. So love those. Again, I got these. Um, it says, let's sleep under the stars and then sweet dreams. I guess this is a freebie. It's a, yeah, Black Friday, Cyber Monday freebie. I didn't know if I picked these up or if they were a freebie. So I'm glad I actually looked and read because I was under the impression that I purchased those. Um, for Valentine's Day, again, I got these full box overlays. These ones are in gold. So I have lots of options when it comes to Valentine's Day. 
I also picked these up, which I love. I do have a Toy Story kit, so I wanted some foil that would go along with that as well. It says to infinity and beyond, you've got a friend in me and you've got Woody and Buzz and then the little aliens and the claw. And I have that in silver. And then I got the bottom washi that goes along with it with all the army men. And it says Andy here really cute so I had very specific like kits in mind when I was picking all of these out and that helped me in terms of like picking out the foil color these are an interesting one and I don't even know if it's going to show up here on camera but they're almost like an iridescent star overlay and I wish I could show them a little bit better but I don't want to like waste them but you'll definitely see them in an upcoming plan with me they just add this really pretty iridescent shine um and it's not as like in your face as like foil it just it's really pretty and I'm sorry the camera is definitely not picking it up the way I wanted to um but it's really, it's really stunning. So that is everything that I picked up from the sticky committee. The last shop that we have here is Glam Planner. And for her Black Friday, maybe it was Cyber Monday, she had these um, mystery bundles where you got five mystery kits. So I picked that up and then I made another order kind of later on. Uh, so I'll start with the mystery bundle and all of the kits that came in that. So I'm really happy with it for the most part. There's a couple kits in here. I'm kind of like, meh, I don't know if I'll ever use them. But again, I can definitely put them in a de-stash or a giveaway. So it's all good. So starting off, this one said that it was the July mystery kit. So it came with a bunch of extras, but we'll start off just looking at the full boxes here. So all of these are Lux kits from Glam Planner. So it comes with all of the extras. Uh, and I am such a fan of Glam Planner kits. I think her designs are so, so beautiful. Um, this kit's quite pretty also. Love these colors. The only thing that I still take issue with in terms of Glam Planner kits is that all the little things are the same color. I wish you got a little bit more variation in terms of that, but it's all good. So it did also come up with your tall double box, your glitter headers, and then the tall fashion girls as well. So that is the first mystery kit that I got from Glam Planner. The next one I am also a huge fan of. And I believe I was like eyeing this one, but I have a couple other kits that are pretty similar in terms of this like uh, winter cabin feel. So that's why I hadn't picked this one up in the past, but really pretty full box heart checklist, your half boxes, quarter boxes, and heart checklist flags. You have this really cool double box here, as well as your uh, date covers, your weekend banner, movie marquee, three heart checklists, your deco, all of your little things and circle icons, cut washi strips and headers, this bottom washi is really pretty with like the ski hill there. And then you have the double glitter strips and then the work headers. And then this came with a bunch of extras as well. So you have the double full box, the glitter headers. She also included some foil overlays in silver, which is awesome. And then you have these tall fashion girls, which are so beautiful. So I love this kit. Maybe I'll try and use it this winter, but I don't know. I'm pretty, pretty booked up with lots of different kits this year. So that might be one to be hoarded. This kit, I am so happy that I got because I've had my eye on this kit for a really long time. When she first came out with it, I wanted it so bad, but I talked myself out of it because I was like, when am I ever going to need a kit like this. I don't really take the train or anything, but I do really, really love the vintage feel of it. My parents actually own an antique store, so I collect teacups and like all this like vintage jewelry. It's just really pretty, like the vintage trunks here. I love all of that. So I'm really happy that I do have this kit now. Uh, I feel like it was meant to be, and it's why I didn't buy it so many times. <laughs> So again, same format here, 
really pretty colors with this kit. I get a very like autumn or like fall vibes to it. And then of course the bottom washi. And then the extras that came with this is you get the tall double box, the glitter headers, and then the fashion girls and then the alternative skin color here if you wanted to swap it out for that box. So those are the first three kits and those ones I was extremely happy with. The next two, I'm kind of like, mm, I can't really see myself using. Not yet anyway, maybe, maybe things will change. So the next one here is this like alien kind of like 90s vibe here. I don't know, this just really isn't my aesthetic. I know a lot of people really like this, but I don't know, it's a little too in your face for me. Uh, the colors are really pretty. It's just they're like very bright and it's just kind of out there. So not really my favorite, but hopefully I'll find a good home for it. We'll do like a future D stash giveaway. So that's the kit. And then it also came with the rocket ship double box here and then the glitter headers. And the next kit, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with this kit. I just can't see myself using it, that's all. Uh, so it's kind of like a movie or date night themed kit if you're like going to see a new movie. Uh, the colors are really pretty in it. I just, I don't ever see myself using it. That's the only, the only issue. This deco is absolutely massive. Like, I don't know how you would even pull that into your spread. So I also wish she hadn't used this yellow color. I wish she'd gone more for like this color yellow instead of this bright yellow. I feel like it just doesn't really fit the kit that well. Well, well, so that is the bottom washi there. And then you do get the glitter headers to go along with it as well as this double box there as well. So those are the five mystery kits that came in my order. The next order that I placed Again, I can't remember if this was Cyber Monday or Black Friday. I don't remember. But I did pick up this kit because I've had my eye on this kit forever. It was, um, I believe, her Cyber Monday kit last year. Oh, I should really get my details straight before I start talking. But I just can't remember. I'm so bad when it comes to that stuff. But I know this was like a mystery type kit. And when I saw people using it, I was so jealous. I instantly fell in love with it. It's just your ultimate like planner girl kit. Really, really pretty. I love the like black and white like speckled pattern. Uh, I think that is just so beautiful. All of these colors, they totally like speak to me and I am obsessed. So when I saw that she brought this kit back, I didn't even care. I was like, yep, getting it. No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I knew I was going to pick it up. So you do get the tall fashion girls with this and oh, she's so sassy, I love her. You get the tall double box and then the glitter headers. And then I also picked up the label sampler to go along with this kit. And then I got some extra goodies as well. So quickly show you guys. So this is the label sampler that goes along with that kit. So I'm planning on doing a um, sticker organization, just like redoing everything because currently my sticker collection is just growing at such like a rapid pace and I'm on a no spend right now so I don't see it growing much more. So I think it's a really good time for me to do a declutter, kind of overhaul everything and Glam Planner has these um, foiled stickers that you can put on your little binder system because that's what I currently use as a binder system. So I'm just going to put these on the sides of each of my binders. Uh, to say what is in them. So I'm going to try and cut it back to only one binder for foil, one binder for kits, one for characters. And then I don't know what other is going to be. Maybe if I have a spill of like holiday stuff, maybe I can use it for that or maybe wiggles, something like that. So I picked those up in gold. And when I do my declutter, I might do a video of it so you guys can see kind of what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. And then I also picked up these, um, which are just like category labels to put on your character sticker organization or your foil. Yeah, 
yeah, this one is more for your foil. So you have like headers, deco, washi, samplers, dates, other miscellaneous, full box, hollow, uh, headers, hollow. So you can kind of organize it by color. And then these are the categories that you have for your character stickers. So you have Asian food, babies, bath, birthday, etc. So I am planning on pulling those into my character sticker binder and I'm just gonna like overhaul my current collection. So that is everything that I picked up from Glam Planner. All right, we made it, you guys. That is everything that I have to share with you today. I have a feeling that this was a really long one. It took me a long time to film it, so I'm thinking that this is gonna be a long video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. You guys know I always truly, truly appreciate all your love and support. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't had a chance, uh, like this video, comment. I'm always happy to hear what you guys think think of what I've purchased. Let me know if there's any shops that you think that I should check out for future. Knowing that I'm on a no spend, I am going to be more conservative, but hey, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what's out there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as well. Uh, I hope you guys all have an amazing week ahead of you and I will speak to you very, very soon. Bye guys.